Hey everyone, Andres Rabot here, and I have a really special interview for you guys. Uh, a dear uh, friend and mentor, uh, Paul Xavier. Paul actually manages $150,000 worth of advertising each month for his clients. And we have a really unique opportunity to talk to someone who does a ton of digital advertising and really an opportunity to dispel a lot of the myths and um, you know, things that are being put out there, uh, falsehoods in the market that maybe your reps or maybe your vendors or maybe you know, consultants that you talk to um, you know, are telling you and, and really you know, they're telling you where to put your money. So I'm really uh, excited to um, talk with Paul today and really talk about you know, where should you really be putting your money uh, in, in what, what media channel should you be putting your money in and where you should, you should be spending your efforts. So thanks for joining me, Paul. Great to be here. Happy awesome. to share any knowledge and help I can. Yeah. yeah. Seeing your success over the past few years, by the way, to watch Andreas literally come into the med spa industry. I remember when you were first getting into it and to see the results your clients have been getting over the past few years has been really exciting. I mean, you're doing some cutting edge, advanced advertising methods and uh, the results are, I mean, they, they speak for themselves. Yes, thank you. So awesome. So Paul, tell me, you know, uh, you know, there's a lot of different things, a lot of, uh, you know, buzzwords that being, you know, put out there, you know, hey, Instagram, hey, Facebook boost, hey, you know, um, do Instagram stories. Um, you know, where should med spa owners really be um, putting their energy? What channel should they be sort of focusing, you know, a lot of their energy and efforts? So the first thing to kind of define is if you're spending a tremendous amount of time and energy into creating content, but no one follows you on Facebook or no one follows you on Instagram, it's worthless. It's just a waste of time, waste of energy. And if you're paying people to help you create that content with no form of distribution strategy, then you're wasting money as well. So the first thing to know is Facebook and Instagram, they really throttle your organic reach on a business page. So if you post something on Instagram, you post something on Facebook, you're not going to be seen by tens of thousands of people. Even if you're followed by tens of thousands of people, you'll be seen by a fraction of that amount of people. And so when it comes down to it, the first thing is figuring out how you're going to distribute that content that you're doing and what channel your audience is on. So as you do with your clients, you have them create transformational treatment programs, right? And you have them create high value offers that are very transformational to a very specific target market. The smartest thing to do when you're in a saturated marketplace is to do that, to differentiate yourself. Now, through that, you also are choosing a specific audience. You're choosing an ideal client. You're choosing a human being that you are going to learn more about than anyone else out there. And that person might be on Instagram. They might be spending more time on Facebook because they're, you know, a 35, 36 year old mom who's in a bunch of Facebook groups who does a lot of interacting on Facebook that way. So you'll know your audience more than the others. And because of that, that will show you what channel to go to. You want to be on that channel. You want to dominate. You want to own that human being's world. And to do that, that often requires paid advertising for distribution because organic just won't cut it. Sure, sure. Can you talk a little bit about, um, let's say, um, you know, should people be investing? Like, how much how much content should they be producing? You know, mm. does do people need to be uh, producing? You know, a video a month or um, you know, you know what, what, what types of uh, videos should they be doing or what kind of content people should, you know, med spot owners should be producing on a regular basis? That's a great question. And content is, it's all about potency, right? If you create a video an hour, but the videos are about your cat, no one cares. <laughs> you know, your market's not going to pay attention. Um, if you create one really powerful video, it can live on your website. It can live on your social media and convert new med spa clients for you, for your you know, high value treatment programs every single day for years. And it can differentiate you and it can be that thing that attracts people to you. So instead of looking at it from a quantity perspective, look at it from a quality perspective, first and foremost with the content that you are producing. When it comes to quality, in that, through that lens of looking at your video content. The more quality video content that you can create, 
the more value you're creating for your business because you're creating video assets. These assets will live online, they will nurture customers 365 days a year, 24 seven, and as long as they're differentiating your business, the more of those you can create, the better. So I know you in Next Level Med Spa teach people how to do that, which is just the most invaluable skill set from a marketing perspective that a med spa can have. It's not discounting as you know a lot of the as you've you've explained to me before we jumped on here that the vendors are telling these people to do, which is terrible. Right. It's really about differentiation, why they should choose you over anyone else, yeah. and. Um, Video can do that, but again, that comes down to quality, not quantity. Sure. Yeah, we see a lot of med spas um, doing these um, sort of short, quick videos. I don't know if you've seen them. It's like a, I don't know if it's called a boomerang or something like that, where it's like, you know, somebody just going like, you know, holding the product up. Are, are those actually effective, you know, for marketing, you know, uh, you know, a business like that? Or That's a great question. And the answer is yes and no. Okay. Um, there's... There's a lot of value in showing personality. Um, personalities can be energetic, right? They can be attractive. Um, we all want to surround ourselves with people who are fun to be around, people who are exciting, people who love what they do. Who doesn't want to hang out with people who love what they do? You know, I do. I sure do. Um, and so from that perspective, if you're creating a little boomerang video, you're having some fun, that's great. But is that going to get you a $10,000 treatment client? Probably not. <laughs> so there's a place for fun content. There is. Um, and creating some of that can create a human connection with your audience, right. which is we like what we do. We have fun here. But more importantly than that, the quality content we talked about earlier, the stuff that you really hone in on helping people with, goes above just that personality aspect. You're going to leverage that but it's about differentiating your treatments and that's where the real value is. You know, you're going to get $10,000 treatment program clients when you have something that's of that value, you know, sure. where otherwise they'd have to spend six months in the gym, 50 grand on, you know, a whole bunch of other, you know, personal trainers and workout equipment and all these different things and boot camps and all this. And you're saving them a tremendous amount of money for this ideal client. That's where you can start to really make huge progress. Yeah. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit about, um, you know, what channel specifically should people be focusing on? Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Is it YouTube? Is it Snapchat? Is it, you know, like where, like, because I feel like there's just all these myths of, you know, where you should be sort of um, honing, you know, your messaging. Um, you know, is it, is it one channel? Is it all of them? It's a great question. And it always comes down to the fundamentals. Um, you're helping people to create specific treatment plans that are targeting an ideal client. Now that ideal client, where they hang out is where you should market and where you should be. There is a lot of different places that people hang out. Some people hang out on YouTube. Some people, some markets hang out on Facebook. Some hang out on Instagram. Some very, very young markets hang out on Snapchat still, which is quite interesting. Um, and we spend about $150,000 a month profitably on ads with a 5X ROI for our clients and a variety of different industries. But it depends on the specific market we're going into, an ideal client that we're going after as to what media we will choose of Facebook, Instagram. In the med spa space, probably, you know, give me one of the most common uh, target demographics that med spas go after? Sure, it would be, um, you know, between 38 and 55 uh, women. Okay. Um, and it would be someone who's pretty fit, mm -hmm. someone who's been doing a lot of exercise, but they sort of are still not really happy with their results. Mm. Um, we see ideal clients in that age range really being able to afford uh, the types of uh, transformational uh, treatment packages that our clients can you know build great so in that instance really there's not a single channel where you're not going to be able to get in front of that specific audience so you're not going to go wrong by hitting YouTube Instagram or Facebook because your audience is on each of those profiles looking for solutions on YouTube how do I get that extra little bit off how do I get that extra gain um, Instagram people are going to be showing off that's typically what people use the platform for um, they're showing images, they're showing creatives that uh, are sharing their lifestyle, sharing the sacrifices they're making, and of course, interacting with Cool Sculpting or any of these med spa 
programs would work very well there. Same thing with Facebook. Facebook would probably be the holy grail because of the older demographic of women being you know, 48 up. That is more of a Facebook thing, whereas the younger demographic of still 20s to 30s is more prevalent on Instagram according to the data. Sure, yeah. So would you say that, um, you know, talk a little bit more about uh, Facebook Lives and Instagram Stories. Are those things that people should be sort of regularly uh, investing their energy in? I would absolutely. It's a very low amount of energy that is required to do that successfully. You don't have to post on Instagram every day. You don't have to do a Facebook Live every day. But they can be valuable, absolutely. And where they really become valuable is when you distribute them. Right. If you leverage a Facebook Live and then you distribute it with paid ads, you're going to be seeing massive success there because of the authenticity of Facebook Lives, because of the, uh, the actual interaction with a client or description or demonstration of your procedure, your transformational program, talking about who it's for in a very authentic, open manner, similar to doing an interview. <laughs> and so there's lots of different ways to do it there. And um, I, I would leverage, I would absolutely leverage them. I, I think it's a smart strategy. It shows personality, it's communicating to the psychographic, um, and it doesn't take that much time to do on a daily basis. I would, of course, be efficient with your time though. Don't just walk into your office with Instagram out on your phone, because then you'll just be on Instagram. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. Schedule five minutes a day, pull out your phone, use it, record it, put it away. Awesome. Well, uh, thanks for joining me today, Paul. Uh, I really enjoyed speaking with you, and I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this uh, conversation. Um, if you want to uh, schedule a call with us and talk about our, our Next Level Med Spa program and how you can leverage uh, that program to really do what Paul does is uh, the distribution method, right? Is getting your message out there in the market you can definitely uh, click the link below and uh, schedule a strategy call with us. All right, until the next one, we'll see you there.